in today's episode of Rocker Family Homestead, man, we're getting this pathway ready to pour concrete. Stay tuned. First off, before I get going, I like to give all praise to the Most High. Right now, you know, I got off work at about 5.30, still had some sunlight out. Sun's back over there setting. And uh, I'll tell you, originally, man, I only had about from this area right here forward done, maybe about six, seven feet. But uh, I said, man, if I can get five feet more of this pathway, pretty much dug out, meaning getting that sub layer, that first layer of grass up off there, I'll be good, man. So started about right here. And then, uh, you know, I got about five more feet and I said, man, boy, I might have to rent me a skid steer for a good, you know, uh, $200 for one day. But, you know, I was listening to some good music, started giving praise to the most high. He allowed me to get about another five feet kept on going so pretty soon i'm looking at it and the more i'm giving more praise to the most high man i was able to get further and further so now when we look at it where i started at way back over there now i didn't came all this way got up to here i got my width about four feet wide and like i said you see this grass right here i got the wheelbarrow full of that first layer of grass you see this layer right there i've already trenched up and uh, gotta go about the next distance so I can get up early tomorrow and start working this and that'll put me right on path to pour the concrete to mix and pour on Friday. I'm still uh, determining whether I want to do a dry pour or a, uh, or a mixed pour. I got rebar and everything. Either way, I'm gonna be putting rebar in it, but all praise to the most high, I'll be able to keep working on this tomorrow and i'll keep working once i quit recording once the uh the sun is over there setting you can see it behind the house but this is you know part two of pouring this concrete sidewalk it was with these pavers right here but you can see now we got it i got my uh my string line i could have tied that a little bit uh tighter but no sweat it'll it'll be good enough for what we're doing so you see the width about four feet and i did that all the way just using that pickaxe and that good old shovel right there man thankful that the most high y'all gives me the strength to be able to get out here and do this and not make excuses not come home and play video games and things like that and be able to get right to it i got home my wife made me a wonderful meal had a good chicken salad fresh vegetables and everything in it and then was able to you know come out here and handle business so all praise to the most high. I wanted to show you part two, the progress that we're making. Man, when you look at it, biblically, man, the Israelites, man, they are builders, man. They're builders, man. The word says build ye houses and plant ye gardens. So we're going to get after it, man. You know, thankful that the most high y'all even allowed us to be able to start our business. And this lasted us for a season. And right now, the time of year we're in, man, you know, it is coming out of the dead season and uh, we're waiting on the last the last frost, but this is peak building time. You know, peak sowing time. There's a season to sow. Man, there's a, a, a season to prep. There's a season to harvest. You know, there's a season to doggone be still. But this right here, the season is to to, to sow seeds, man, to, to build. And this is what we're getting, man, homesteading. You know, a lot of people stray away from it because it's it's very laborsome. But the word says, hate not for men, hate not husbandry duties or labor's task. So when we think about that, man, hey, I'm very thankful to be 34 years old and not a couch potato, not worried about what's going on with football, X, Y, and Z, but to be able to get out here and get it done and to learn, man, because you got to think, uh, like I said earlier, if somebody was going to do this whole run of concrete right here and they was going to call a, a mixing truck just for the mixing truck 
to, to pull up to my driveway. They're going to want $1,200. The concrete's been pre-mixed, you know, off-site somewhere. Just the amount of concrete, just for that much concrete, one truck, $1,200, okay? And then they're going to charge you a transportation fee. So now you're looking at about $1,250 to $1,300 total. And then the labor of people coming out, it's probably going to be a, a, a two, three, four man crew to come frame this up one day and then call the truck out the next day. And then you're looking at, uh, by the time they get done, you're looking at about $2,500 on the cheap end, on the cheap end to get this, get this done. So all praise to the most, I give me the wisdom, the strength, the know-how, how to do this and putting me, you know, at the right place at the right time to get the information from people that do this. So all praise to the most high. I wanted to show you this right here, man. I'm going to get back to, uh, listening to my praise music and keep working at that pickaxe, man. Keep working it. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Rocker Family Homestead.